It's not unheard of for 90-day fiancé couples to break up and get back together in no time flat, and that's just what happened between a former hot 90-day fiancé, before the 90 days pair during the past week. This split has left fans wondering if it was all made up for publicity. Season 1 couple Paula and Russ Mayfield have also come back together after a brief break. Meanwhile, some cast members, such as Ash Knack, who dated Avery Warner on B90, have found love again. Franchise favorite Rosemarie Vega is vacationing in Thailand and recently revealed that she's dating someone new after her split with Big Ed Brown. Angela Deem's breakup rumors with her husband Michael Lil is on me are surfacing. Another controversial couple, Stephen Johnston and his Russian wife Alina have started a new career a year after shockingly tying the knot. Since her marriage with Michael Jessen ended, Juliana Custodio has been happier than ever with her new boyfriend Ben, and she will soon welcome a new baby. Molly Hopkins' ex-husband Luis Mendez is single again, as his second marriage ended in less than three years. Side by side, a few 90-day fiancé twosomes have also run into trouble over the week, including Armando Rubio and Kenneth Niedermeyer, due to their seemingly sketchy Instagram giveaway. Disturbing claims about 90-day the single life star Sinjin Colchester have emerged from an alleged ex-girlfriend. Fans have been asking for Sinjin's removal from the spin-off, which he appeared in with his ex-wife Tanya Maduro. Then, there's Jody Dufresne, who is causing an uproar for making an insensitive comment about his baby girl Mila on Instagram. After wowing fans with their fairy tale wedding during the 90 Day Fiancé season 8 finale, Tarek and Hazel left the Mindy drama behind to celebrate their first anniversary in June. However, Things changed when Tarek called Hazel a snake and unfollowed her on Instagram. He claimed that Hazel had left him and was staying with people he didn't know about. Meanwhile, Hazel supposedly started a fundraiser in the hopes of raising $10,000, following claims of being mentally, emotionally, and verbally abused. She alleged she wanted to find a good therapist and a lawyer. Back then, Tarek denied Hazel's claims and added that she was saying such things so she could continue staying in the US. Shockingly enough, Tarek and Hazel have now posted a New Year's Eve video on Hazel's Instagram, captioned, When all negativity gets left in 2021, 2022 be like. Happy New Year everyone. Fans have concluded that Tarek and Hazel faked their breakup for attention, or to get a new 90 Day Fiancé spin-off. When it comes to getting the most talked about Macovers in the 90 Day Fiancé franchise, Larissa never fails to impress. After debuting her Kylie Jenner transformation in 2020, Shortly before she exited the 90DF universe, Larissa has gotten a lot of body alterations, including ab transplants and the infamous 1500cc saline breast implants. Her new Instagram story, however, is the most shocking yet, as Larissa captioned a photo of herself from what looked like an operating room with removing three ribs. Fans suspected this was a pre-surgery snap. However, Larissa hasn't revealed any further details. She is keeping her curious followers in the dark for now. Related. 90 Day Fiancé, Aaron Carter's ex might be staying with Larissa's friend Paul and Karina have indulged in some pretty chaotic social media behavior over the past few months, leading to rumors about them getting divorced. Over the years, Paul has demanded paternity and STD tests from Karina and also called the police to gain viewer support. A surveillance cam video that leaked recently allegedly showed Karina grabbing her husband's face in front of their son. Fans have kept a close eye on any new developments about their troubled married life and Karina's new Instagram post hints at them calling it quits for good. Karina referred to Paul as her ex-husband and said that she's fighting tirelessly for divorce to get out of an abusive relationship. As to why she hasn't left for Brazil yet, 90 Day Fiancé star Karina explained that since both their kids have U.S. citizenship, she can't just take them out of the country without their father's permission. Sources, Hazel Kigalatin slash Instagram, Karina Stale slash Instagram, Larissa Lima slash Instagram.